snowman, go see the Sama. You don't know snowman like you know Cali Cat and BC in the Sama. He's new. But he's BC's cousin. You know that white cat's BC's cousin? <laughs> I got him from Jimmy Green's mom. <laughs> Remember when Jimmy Green came over and you burned down New Horizon cooking french fries? Oh, he's dead now, Salma. He got murdered. You should see what happened to Jimmy Green, man. He was on the news. They said there's a missing man in Lawrence, Lawrence, Michigan. They took hound dogs out to find him. Now listen, this is why it's conspiracy. The hounds couldn't find him. And you're talking about a Jimmy Green, and you know him. So drunk that if he was standing on the porch, we'd be able to smell the alcohol. But the dogs couldn't find him, trust me. Jimmy don't do nothing but drink alcohol, liquor. And they couldn't find him until like uh, a week later. He was in the woods where they didn't find him. And I and we was all it was all on the news and I'm telling you, they moved his body, dude. They moved that motherfucker's body and then put it back there. There ain't no fucking way a smart dog that's trained to find dead bodies in the woods is not gonna find a stinking drunk, dude. Like I said, if you're in a car with Jimmy and he's in a back seat and you're driving, you might fucking get in a conflict with a cop because they can smell alcohol standing outside the car and it ain't you. It's Jimmy Green in the back seat's breath. You know what Jimmy used to say? He said, I can't sit outside because the mosquitoes bite me so much. The sugar from the alcohol. Ah! <laughs> the sugar, the sugar that they use to make alcohol, he drinks so much of it, the mosquitoes like his blood because of that. That's what he said. He said the mosquitoes attack him worse than anybody because of the alcohol in his blood. Oh, Jimmy Ray. I grew up with that motherfucker. Go, come here. Glad you're happy on your birthday, Selma. Nobody called me, nobody visited, and I didn't even get a car. <coughs> I didn't get a car from Aunt Cindy, I didn't get a car from my mom, and I didn't get a car from Grandma. I got a car from Aunt Cheryl. Who's that? I thought all of them folks is your family. Who? Huh? Who's Cheryl? <coughs> She's the lady that gives me a candy bar every day. She gave me a car. Oh. Was it poetic? Yeah, it was one of them party store birthday cards. It don't matter. Listen, you know how much a birthday card costs? You're spending $4 <laughs> for the birthday card minimum. 
Now look, if you put twenty dollars in there, you just spent twenty five. That's why people aren't doing it no more. They think their fucking card is worth four dollars. So you can't fucking mail a card with money in it to your family on their birthday because it costs so much money for the fucking card. Mm. I think cards are my favorite. That's what my grandma said. My grandma said, I gotta quit, Mike. That's why I didn't do it. I said, well, uh, I understand because, listen, if there's 12 months a year with all her extended family that she's the matriarch of, mm -hmm. and you put $10 a month for your everybody's birthday, my grandma's spending sometimes 80 bucks a month on birthday cards and birthdays. So she said, I can't do it no more. Mm -hmm. So nobody gets no birthday cards or money. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. That's true. When you're on a fixed income and you're retired, you cannot spend eighty dollars a month or forty sometimes. You know, fifty here, thirty there. Because every there's three or four people's birthday every month. Grandkids, kids, great grandkids. How's the baby like? How's them? I don't know. Okay. Here. Yeah. We gotta wait. It's, it's brewing. Betty does. She sucks a good old duck under the bridge on the Erie Canal. <laughs> <laughs> so what, Summer? It's 4.30, man. We still got fucking five hours. Mm. And we gonna let Boosie sing my, 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 my South African teacher. Mm. Boosie Malongo. This black cat in the road. She died of breast cancer, Sama. Boosie. Boosie Siwa. Vic, Vic, hey, her name's Bo Victoria Boosie Siwa Malongo. Mm. But they call her Boosie. Hey, when do you want to see me next? Next Thursday? Hey, listen, motherfucker. What? I'm going to give you the money, and you're going to decide when you're going to take the bus. Because this nigga right here stays home. He don't fucking leave, but to get his cigarettes and his water. And his weed. No, I wanna know. No, you gonna fucking take your chance and just come over. It takes two transfers. I now, just wanna know. What I'm not picking you up every fucking time. I can't afford it. I know, but I wanna know what works for you, what things good for you. I don't know. Hi, Mike. How you doing today? I got some money. If you want me to come over and chill out with you, I'll take the bus. Oh, okay, come on. I might give you a ride home later. I might not. <laughs> you make me sound like a mom. Okay, whatever. <laughs> like one of your friends, like, um... Listen, Scott, I have no um, fucking friends. Like, Scott, <coughs> Once again, this nigga right here has zero motherfucking friends. Hey, here. <clears throat> Watch out for that, um, guitar case. Okay? A friend loves at all times, the Bible says. And there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. His name is Jesus. A friend loves at all times. And there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. The first, and, the first pot of coffee we made had no caffeine. It was decaffeinated. I had one cup of this shit and I'm feeling buzzed. So listen, this just got caffeine. Uh huh. And I, I feel like I'm gonna puke because of this shit. Probably Emma wants you to be her best friend. You got.